Hi guys, so I haven't vlogged in a long time and we'll discuss probably some changes a little bit later on what I want to do in terms of my channel because I'm thinking about making a separate vlog channel just because there are things that I don't want to put on my main channel and me and my girlfriend were talking about it so yeah maybe I will talk about it on my main channel and redirect and see what you guys' thoughts are but this is a vlog channel that this is a vlog that's going to go up on the main channel so um i want to show you guys a couple of things that i have been hauling and yeah see stuff like this i know like in terms of clothes i'm not really i've only done one fashion video one or two fashion videos on my main channel i do want to get more into that but in terms of like showing y'all what I have or like I want to show you kind of like in the moment rather than doing an allocated video just because if you want to go get it by the time a lot of times I post stuff it's too late so at least if it's the week of you guys will get a chance to see it so let me show you guys some stuff and yeah okay so y'all don't um you probably know this but I absolutely love like reviewing beauty boxes I've I really love doing that. So I have pinch me here. I need to review this one. This is Fat Fit Fun for spring. And y'all, this is a cute handbag. A cute handbag. Let me lay it down. This is a cute handbag that my hubby got from BB. And it's from BB, by the way. I'm sorry. I meant to tell you that. And it's kind of like, I don't know. Do you call that a satchel or a tote? I don't know anyway um so i got that and then i want to show you guys what i got from walmart these tops i got literally for like two dollars kid you not so this is a workout top that i got some of these i think i'm gonna wear like every day so uh this is a pink one that i got i'm wearing the gray one like this and it's because I have very like muscular arms and a muscular back. So if you have that type, that body type, then halter tops will probably work for you. I got a regular like, is it just me or am I the only one that does not like calling these wife beaters? Like who calls? I don't like that. Anyway, I got one of those. That's not the same as a halter top. This is a halt halter top has kind of like the razor back or is that razor back? I guess that's what you would call it. This one is sleep, train, repeat, eat. I like that. So I got some workout tops because I'm going in. I love this one. I think I might wear this one every day. When in doubt, work it out. That sounds like a church song. Work it out. Too lit to quit. I love that. Okay. Then I have no bad days. I don't know if you can see that. Y'all, Walmart. Do not sleep on Walmart, okay? Like, all of these was like $2. That's why I got so many. It's my jam. Happy hour. Isn't that cute? I got a white halter top. And a pair of shorts for $2. Okay. Got these lashes. They only have one pair of the 615s. I had to get that. Um, Glam Twins, actually, these are 110s. They stack them. They double stack them. And it gives more of a flare. I want to try doing that and see how that works for me. And what else did I get from Walmart? Oh, Alyssa Ashley talked about this. And this is Shine Free. I probably need to do a YouTube maybe buy it. Of like collective people and I'm pretty much I have pretty much a good I have a pretty good memory so I can kind of tell so um, Alyssa, Alyssa Ashley we're the same skin tone we wear the same color foundation and everything and she talked about the Maybelline shine free I think this is a bit bright this is a medium but I'm thinking I'm going to mix this with my Sasha buttercup which is something else that she does so got that from Walmart Okay, so I got these from just, no, no, no. I got those from actually Ross. These are Mark, Jake, uh, not Mark Jacobs, Mark Fisher. I've had some of theirs before. These fit my feet so well. Um, it's like a booty, a pointed booty heel, but it's in a 
blush color. I absolutely love this. This was the only heel that I took. No, I took another heel. I'll show you guys those too. But I took these and a new shoe. That's all I took. And I wore these on the plane. These are from Just Fab. They are rose gold sneakers. I love anything rose gold, y'all. My husband knows it. Everything that he has bought me has been rose gold. Is the top. I know. I got this on here kind of janky. Let me see. Let's try that again. Can y'all see that? So cute. It has like speckles of gold in it. Let's see. There you go. Speckles of gold. And I love this top. My husband bought me that top. I'm telling you, I like, I am loving right now blush. I got some ripped jeans. That's blush. I got this top. That's blush. This top. That's blush. This one has like, this one is rose gold too. It's sequins. This one, this was a top that you can wear two ways. So you can wear it off the shoulder or kind of like the peasant style. That's what they call that style anyway. But yeah, finish getting dressed. Oh, I want to show you guys one more thing. This is what I took on my trip. I am going to do a what's in my bag. But this book bag from Just Fab saved my life during my trip. So yeah, let me get finished getting dressed and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey y'all. Of course, I think I'm going to do Vlogmas again. And I think I want to do something like... I don't know. I know I want to, I'm trying to plan out my year, but I just wanted to talk to y'all. I'm like in such like, I feel like a mode of transition right now. Um, I'm in a transition with my weight. <laughs> I'm in transition with like just organizing my life. Um, I used to be like really I think I'm in that stage where I'm really finding out what style in clothes what style in makeup and I'm really happy about that part it's just sometimes transition feels uncomfortable because it's something that you know you're not in a place and the great thing about transition for the especially if for the better okay we're talking about transition for the better I am in the process of getting a gym membership because I just realized I am not a person that just can work out at home. I've tried. It, okay. I need to have a place where I dedicate and compartmentalize my life where I specifically just go to the gym. I've, I've tried. I've tried working out at home and I don't think that is for me. So I am in transition where because I'm finding my style, I feel like when you can't, when you don't find your style or you don't know what your style is in certain things, you tend to buy more because you're trying to figure out what fits you. But now that I'm in that transition where I'm kind of settling down and spending and what I like, what I don't like, because sometimes social media can make you feel like you need something when it's not really you. You know what I mean? Uh, in terms of my weight, y'all, like I'm really honing on to, like why I'm eating the way that I eat. Because I lost the weight after the baby and then gained it back. Not all of it, you know, thank the Lord, but... I didn't realize that I had postpartum <laughs> I didn't and I was like I feel horrible and I don't feel good about myself and my oh I was just so in my feelings Lord and it's not anything that it's like when the light bulb comes on you realize whoa you know and I feel like I'm y'all Joseph is two years old he just turned two he turned two in December, so he's like almost two and a half. Y'all, I'm just now coming out of postpartum. It is crazy. I didn't have it before with jo uh, with Elijah. I think I had it some. I had the baby blues. That's what they call po postpartum, like the baby blues and everything. But I feel like with Elijah, I mean with Joseph, I am just coming out of it. It's crazy. Because I notice, I'm like, you know, okay, one of the signs of postpartum, I don't feel like myself. Okay, like everything is like an emotional trigger. 
and I can feel like I'm coming back down from that so I'm not trying to be too hard on myself, but I'm trying to get myself up. I think that's why it's been so hard for me to work out because y'all, I have never been, it's never been this difficult for me to work out. And I know a lot of it has to do with me being on bed rest for almost a year with this child, Lord, getting my life together, you know, going back to work. And then the balance of like, my mom told me this, that the most difficult transition was going to be going from one child to two so now that there are two kids instead of one you know uh, people are more willing to babysit one child than two um you're more willing to go out with one child than two uh you can do more with one child than two of course but um you know i count my blessings i love my children i love my sons um Besides God, my family is the best thing that happened to me. So, uh, my weight, I've been holding my own self back, but at the same time, I'm realizing that part of that struggle had a lot to do with postpartum. So now that I know what it is and you know, a lot of things I found, I find out about myself is through prayer. I feel like prayer is a reflection God shows you and you know I'm a Christian so I'm gonna come from that standpoint okay so I'm not gonna come from a you know a different type of area I know everybody has their different beliefs beliefs but I'm coming from a place of prayer prayer helps me figure out what's going on on the inside I feel like it and you know that's why I really do believe that the Bible says pray without ceasing and it's not because not only are you helping I feel like in order to help other people you really have to help yourself first and helping myself is really realizing what's going on in the inside and postpartum it's real y'all it's real uh, when your emotions are fluctuating when you don't feel like yourself when you have a shorter fuse than you did before those are just some signs if you're struggling with that but I'm just coming off the down from that and I, I, I see that it was a lot worse before because I would panic I would like um, I feel like postpartum a lot of anxiety is thrown into that and I have not seen so many people with anxiety in my life and not to say that it's not real I think it is I just think that there are a lot of like challenges environmentally and socially that we didn't have before social media has a lot to do with it you know the search the quest on being perfect you know so yeah anyway I'm gonna get off <laughs> but I just wanted to share my heart with you guys and kind of like let you know I guess this was kind of like a life update and basically the life update is that I'm in transition and I think everybody is in transition in some kind of way so I hope this relates to you comment down below let me know what's going on with you I love to hear from you guys I honestly I'm like hey honestly when I look in the comments a lot of times I look for you know the OGs to come up and relate I know you by name by now and seriously if you like I notice if you hadn't been there in a while um, there have been a couple of times when there is a particular lady that comments on my video she hasn't been there and, and I was like hey where you been I miss you you know, I want you all to feel like you can come and you can chill. I try to make the environment here on my channel not to be one of ranting and complaining. And that's, I mean, certain videos you're not going to see on my channel because I feel like there's so many other channels. There, There's so many other channels you can get that from. <laughs> but when you come here, I want it to be like girlfriend time. I want it to be like relaxation. Um, I wanted to be like, you know, you're coming. I'm going to tell you, this is exactly how I want you to feel. I want you to feel like energized, renewed, refreshed, going back with something. You know, how there's some people 
that when you talk to them, you just feel drained. I never want you to get that from me. You know what I mean? Uh, there are certain people that just throw off a certain type of um, spirit, a certain type of energy. Well, let's talk about spirit and energy, okay? Because I believe every person has a spirit. Spirit is attitude. It's the way that you carry yourself. And there are just certain things that I'm not going to have here on my channel because I feel like you get that from so many other places. But I want you to always feel rejuvenated and feel happy. And I want you to feel like, Mm, she gets me you know what I'm saying or like yeah you know you can you know there's certain channels when you want to feel uplifted that's who you're gonna go to so I hope that's what you're getting from here and yeah you know y'all the homies y'all the OGs I love you guys and yeah I'll see you guys in the next truck car can I say it right I'll see y'all in the next car chat let me know what's happening on with y'all love you boo